Welcome to Johns Hopkins Medicine, a place where research drives excellence and discovery. It's a warm summer day, but not everywhere. Somewhere deep underground, it's cold, really cold. How cold is it? Approximately minus 180 degrees Celsius. Wow, that is cold. I see wires, gold rings, and are those canisters of liquid nitrogen? This is gonna be loud. What is this place? What is going on here? Welcome to the Cryo EM lab. Oh, and you are? I'm Duncan Souza, and I'm the director of the Cryo EM facility. I'm James Berger, and I'm the director for the Institute for Basic Biomedical Sciences here at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. So here we do cryo microscopy, and basically we use a really fancy microscope to look at really small things, generally in the cell. That's one huge microscope. This instrument took uh, approximately six months to assemble. The parts for it came from all over the world. Just how small is this world that we're peering into? We're gonna put in a sample in the microscope that's about the size of a pea. So to give you a comparison, if that pea were the size of the United States, then we'd be looking at a component that's about the size of the chair I'm sitting on. Why do you need to see these particles? They are basically what make your cell run and they're what make you, you. How does this technology relate to the lab? One of my colleagues here, Cynthia Wolberger, has used this type of instrumentation to visualize a particular enzyme. It's given her new insights into how we might develop small molecule therapeutics. Wow, so this tiny world has some huge implications. Exactly. Show us how it works. So I'm gonna take this nano cab, slide it into the robots, and what you can see here, which is really interesting, so this guy here is actually the same as one of these specimens I'm showing you here. Now let me get this straight. The extreme cold is necessary because it keeps the molecules from moving without creating ice, which would distort the image? Absolutely. Now I understand. This technology allows us with much greater speed and accuracy to be able to visualize how molecules give rise to life. 